Welcome back to the A to Z of League of Legends, a guide to the most important terms you'll need to know when watching or playing the game. Here's part two. The primary objective of League of Legends is simple. Destroy the enemy's nexus before they destroy yours. But this is not an easy task as formidable defenses stand in your way. The Nexus spawns minions every 30 seconds who will die to defend it, and is protected by two Nexus towers located directly in front of it, and three more towers in each lane. Of course, there's also the not insignificant matter of the five champions on the enemy team as well. The most important fact to note, the Nexus is invulnerable from attacks until at least one inhibitor is destroyed, and both Nexus towers have been destroyed. The Nexus itself has a total of 5,500 health, and can regenerate 20 health per second, but does not have any attacks or abilities itself. The acronym OOM stands for Out of Mana and is not a situation that many champions want to find themselves in. Often, in the early game, you will find that champions use their abilities sparingly, as each use will use up their limited supply of mana. If they run out of mana, going oom, they will have to return to the base for more. But not all champions on the Rift use mana. Some champions use alternate sources to power their abilities. Some champions use energy, which regenerates much faster than mana. Other champions use fury, rage, or flow, which is generated by attacking or using abilities. Finally, some lucky champions, like Garen, have none of these restrictions, simply only having to wait for their ability cooldowns to expire. One of the easiest and fastest ways to communicate in League is through the use of pings. There are five crucial pings a player can use to provide information to their teammates. Danger is used to notify teammates to back off from a potential attack by an enemy, known as a gank, or warn that an enemy may be hiding within the fog of war. Enemy missing is used when the enemy is missing from their lane to warn teammates to be on alert. Assist me is used by a player when they are in a tricky spot and need backup from teammates. On my way is used to notify your team where you're heading next, be that to take down a monster or attack the enemy team. The final ping that you may see is Area is Warded. This is used to let teammates know the location of enemy wards, allowing players to avoid the area and prevent being seen. Using these pings in-game is very beneficial to quickly communicate with teammates in the heat of battle. A word of caution, however, these pings should not be overused. Too many pings will make you very unpopular with your team and could end with your requests for help being ignored. Double kill, triple kill, quadra kill, penta kill. Hearing the announcer deliver these lines heralds some of the most memorable moments to occur in League of Legends. Team fights in League can often be a hectic affair, as both teams do their utmost to best their opponents and win the game. However, though it is a team game, only one person can secure the killing blow on each opponent, and with some champions better at dispatching opponents, it is not unheard of for them to wipe out two, three, four, or even five opponents within a short space of time. If a champion secures all the killing blows in a team fight, killing all five opponents, they'll not only secure a sizable amount of gold, but they'll hear the announcer shouting the magical words, Penta Kill. Runes are an important part of League of Legends, enhancing champion abilities and attributes before the start of the game. Runes are organized into five different paths, with each path tailoring a champion towards a different style of play. The Precision Path offers improved attacks and sustained damage. The Domination Path focuses on burst damage and the ability to hunt down opponents. The Sorcery Path offers empowered abilities and utility choices. Choosing the Resolve Path enables champions to become more durable and inhibit the enemy's movement. 
And finally, the Inspiration Path allows increased gold generation and unique effects. Each champion must choose a primary path and a secondary path. Players select a primary and secondary rune path from the five different options, allowing a high level of customization. Making the right choice is key to success, as the best players will customize the options to play to their strengths and limit their weaknesses. Summoner spells are two common spells that are chosen by players before entering a game. Each spell has its own unique ability and own cooldown, but do not have any cost in terms of mana or another resource. Two of the most commonly chosen spells are Flash, a spell which allows you, a champion, to instantly move a short distance to dodge an ability or retreat over a wall. The second most commonly chosen spell is Smite, this spell is almost always taken by each team's jungler and can be used on neutral monsters to deal a huge amount of damage and help to clear monster camps faster. The most important use of Smite is in securing the most important neutral objectives like Dragons and Baron Nasher. Other summoner spells that are chosen frequently include Teleport, which allows champions to teleport to towers and allied units to quickly return to fighting. Ignite is a summoner spell that deals damage to an enemy over 5 seconds and can be vital for securing a kill. Heal can be used by a champion to heal themselves or an ally for a small amount of health points as well as offering a 1 second 30% burst of speed. Finally, Exhaust is a spell used to both slow an enemy and decrease the damage they can deal by 40% for 3 seconds. These powerful spells can be the difference between life and death, victory or defeat. Turrets, more commonly known as towers, are vital defenses for each team on the rift. Both red and blue side teams have 11 turrets. Two are located down each lane, one tower is set to defend each of the three inhibitors, and two are the last line of defense for the nexus. Towers will primarily deal damage to minions and dish out huge amounts of damage with each hit. Champions will only find themselves the focus target for enemy towers in two situations. One, if they are the only target in range with no minions around them. Two, if they damage an enemy champion within their turret range. Each tier one tower, those established at the first line of defense in each lane, have five turret plates, which disappear at the 14 minute mark. Champions can destroy these plates before that time and be rewarded for it, with each turret plate destroyed then granting them gold. Destroying a tower is even more lucrative for those brave enough to take them down. As discussed earlier in the list, in League of Legends a champion's ultimate can determine the outcome of a battle if used correctly. While some champions use their ultimate up close and personal in battle, other champions are able to call upon powerful spells known as Global Ultimates that allow them to deal damage or help from afar. Global Ultimates are abilities that are able to be cast on any point of the map, allowing champions to pick off enemies from distance, quickly come to the aid of their allies, or reposition themselves to set up an ambush or attack. Notable Global Ultimates to look out for are Shen's Stand United, Twisted Fate's Destiny, Galio's Hero's Entrance, and Nocturne's Paranoia. Vision in League of Legends is incredibly important and key to victory. The Summoner's Rift is covered by the Fog of War, areas of darkness on the map which prevent champions from seeing all but their surrounding area. An easy tip to determine if an area is masked by the Fog of War if an area is brightly lit on the map, it is an area the champion has vision. Any dark areas are covered by the fog of war and could be hiding enemy champions. There are multiple ways to gain additional vision on the map, providing crucial information to avoid ambushes and disrupt enemy plans. Firstly, friendly towers give the player and their team vision of the surrounding area and friendly allies also share their vision on the map with you. Putting down wards in the river and brushes will help to extend a champion's vision around the map and prevent enemy champions from moving under the cover of the fog of war. The general rule, the more vision you have, the harder the game is for your opponents. 
Wards are items used on the rift to give champions additional vision on the map. Whilst warding is the act of placing these items to get maximum vision coverage to gain an advantage over the enemy. Wards come in different shapes and sizes in League of Legends, so let's take you through them. Firstly, each player on the rift has their own trinket slot in their inventory. A trinket being a free item that can be purchased from the shop to aid with vision. A player has the choice of three types of trinkets. The Warding Totem, which allows the player to put down an invisible ward granting vision in the area around it for 90 seconds, thereby allowing players to gain extra vision to seek out approaching enemies. Next up is the Oracle Lens, known as the Sweeper, which grants temporary vision of enemy wards around the player, allowing them to be destroyed to reduce the vision of key areas on the map. And finally, the Farsight Alteration, known as the Farsight Trinket, which reveals an area in the distance by placing a visible ward that will last indefinitely but can be seen by enemies. Outside of Trinkets, there is another crucial ward which can only be purchased. This is the Vision Ward, sometimes known as the Pink Ward. Each player can only have one of these placed at any given time, allowing them to spot any enemy wards around it as well as stealthed enemies. Players can only put down a maximum of three wards at any one time, so must choose their locations wisely. The XPK is a risky tactic in League of Legends that is more commonly known as a backdoor. This tactic involves a player diving into the enemy's base to destroy their nexus, even though their own nexus is at serious risk of being destroyed. Players or teams will often only attempt this tactic when the outcome of the game appears to be going against them as a last-ditch effort to win the game. This tactic earned the name the XPK early in the life of the Rift, when in 2013, XPK of Fnatic backdoored SK Gaming at IEM in a thrilling move that won his team the match. His daring move to win the match all whilst dodging his bewildered opponents forever immortalized the tactic in his name. Yordles are part of the extensive lore of League of Legends, and the lore of the game plays a huge part in the design, abilities, and attributes of each champion. Not only do the champions exist on the Rift, but each champion has a detailed backstory with alliances, rivalries, and vendettas against other champions. Each champion is aligned with one of the many factions of the world of Rune Terror, where the Summoner's Rift of League of Legends exists. The faction that a champion belongs to is a good indicator of the type of champion characteristics and attributes you can come to expect. For example, the Yordles are a race of spirit champions who mostly reside in a place called Bandal City. Yordle champions such as Fizz, Kennen, Vigar, and Teemo are small but incredibly strong creatures with a connection to the magical realm. In comparison, the champions aligned with the Noxus faction are powerful, warlike humans who value strength above all else, which is reflected in their ruthless abilities. And finally, we come to the end of the list. Zoning is a popular phrase in League of Legends, used when a champion is harassing the enemy champion through attacks to the point that it causes the enemy to be forced to retreat as they are in danger of being killed. By pushing the enemy champion away from their minions and stopping them from farming, it is possible to cut off the enemy champion from earning gold and if forced back far enough, from valuable experience points. Zoning therefore forces the enemy into making a decision. Do they try to challenge to earn gold and experience but take the risk? Or do they accept their situation and fall behind in power, rendering them irrelevant in the game? Be on the lookout for this tactic in upcoming games, and see if you notice when these mind games are in play, as they are an important tool for victory.